Look at these flowers in the garden. They've attracted lots of beautiful butterflies. The eyes of a butterfly have many different sides, like a diamond. Butterflies have antennae, which are like feelers, three pairs of legs and two pairs of wings. They use their proboscis to drink the nectar from the depths of the flowers. There are many different types of butterfly. Have you ever noticed how some of them prefer certain flowers to others? This butterfly is called a small tortoiseshell. And this one is called a peacock. She's been looking for somewhere to lay her eggs, and now she's found the perfect spot, a clump of nettles. She has laid lots of tiny eggs, which are exactly the same color as the nettle they've been laid on. If they can't be seen, they'll be safe. And inside one of them is me. After a while, the eggs change color, and we begin to hatch out as caterpillars. First, we have to bite the shell of our eggs and make a circle big enough for our heads to get through. A tough task for a minute caterpillar. Then we have to try and free ourselves from the egg. Look, I've done it. I have a dark head and an almost completely see-through body, which is made up of 13 parts and 14 legs. I have tiny antennae, which help me find my way off the eggs and onto the nettle leaf, which is my favorite food. Butterfly eggs are always laid in a sunny spot on the food that the caterpillars will eat when they hatch. Now, where is the tastiest bit of leaf, I wonder? Hmm, this bit's good. Look how empty our eggs look now that we've hatched. They look a bit like bubbles, don't they? As well as my antennae, I also have two simple eyes, which help me find my way around our feasting ground. I need oxygen from the air, which I take in through small holes in the side of my body. I don't have any lungs, like you do. I eat and eat and eat all day long. And as I eat, I grow, and as I grow, I begin to change color and become darker. Eventually, I will be completely black with tiny white dots. Hmm, well, I still have a lot more growing to do before I'm as big as this monster. Anyway, as I grow, my skin begins to feel tighter. Finally, it's too tight to carry on eating any more, so I split my skin and wriggle out, leaving my old skin behind me. Here I am in my new suit with plenty of room to eat and grow some more. Munch, munch, munch.
When a group of caterpillars like this gather together on a juicy clump of nettles like these, it doesn't take very long for this to look like this. Now I'm ready for my final molt. I've found a safe place to rest and I've anchored myself to a stem with silk thread from my spinnerets. I have to force off my old skin by carefully pushing out of it. And can you see? Underneath, I have changed into a beautiful pupa, or chrysalis. And once I've completely shed my skin, I wriggle myself into a comfortable position and then wait. Outside, I just change color, but inside, an incredible change is taking place. I'm changing into a butterfly. And after about 10 days, when I'm ready to come out, my chrysalis splits open and I can gently release myself. I have to pump my wings full of blood and stay here for at least an hour to let them harden and dry out. It's a good opportunity to practice uncurling my proboscis too. There it goes. My chrysalis is just an empty sack now. Now that I'm a butterfly, every part of my body from my wings to my feet is covered with tiny scales which give my wings their beautiful color and pattern. And now I can fly away to my first meal amongst the flowers. 